Well, let's take this outside, see how it does in the wilderness. Hello, everyone. This is Charles Bridgetech with another flashlight review, this time from Phoenix. Now, this here is their HT18. Comes in this box. The Phoenix store sent this to me. They wanted me to test and review this flashlight kit. Comes with everything you need right in this box. So let's wait no further. Let's open it up, see what's in. check these out here these are the red lens and green lenses that you can put on the outside Great light for hunting as well as other activities you may do at night got a 18650 battery adapter here allows you to run additional battery types which is always a big plus and I'll lift this up, get the other goodies out of here. We've got one holster here. Now this here, this holster is actually a very nice quality holster. It has the D-ring, dual stitched material here. You've got the double material there around your belt. Now this is an open end design, so the tail end will come out there, stick out. So we'll check on that more later and we have a USB type C charging cable we have a lanyard and two extra o-rings and we've got Phoenix warranty card English on the other side And you've got a brochure here on other products that they sell. And we have the user manual. Now this is here is actually on the small side. So I'm going to go ahead and post the specs of the light outputs on screen there. Now as you can see there on screen, it puts out 1500 lumens. Now, remember, this is a dedicated thrower, so that's quite a bit of lumens for a dedicated thrower. You're not needing a huge amount of lumens to be able to project it out. With the long range throwers, they have deep reflectors and uh, precise LEDs for that reflector, which helps out a lot with the throw. So now we're going to go ahead and take out the light here. And I'm going to break off this here. this here from the light this is just letting you know to remove the protection piece on the battery before you use it for the first time so now we're going to go ahead and move this other stuff out of the way let's take a look at the light there it is look at that really a nice compact design really like these compact throwers because not only the easier to carry for long periods of time but they have the range that some of these bigger throwers have uh, which is quite impressive and another plus is that the batteries that they're now using this one here is using a 21700 cell so that helps you with run time but also keeps the body of the light small enough where most people can easily hold on to it uh, the 26650 is actually still uh, a very popular battery, but to have the smaller battery that's thinner, that is, but a little bit longer, you're able to get, you know, high app, you know, high milliamps out of those, but a smaller form factor. I take a look at it real close here. You see the button there? Kind of a copper color. The grooves on the barrel here go in all one direction. Great for gripping it if you're 
wearing gloves it's really going to grab onto that material with that tail clicky you got some pretty good thick heat sinking here on the body and that will help out with keeping the light cooler dissipating the heat you can see here how deep the reflector is going to be so that's amazing it's got the gray bezel on here The style and design on this is very nice. Feels really good when holding it. You can even hold it tactically because of that tail clicky. Put that on the highest output and just turn that on like that and you're ready to go. The machining and finish on this is excellent. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look here at the deep smooth reflector. Now this is running the Cree XHP35 High LED. Try to get a good view of that reflector. There we go. Not a speck of dust behind that lens or on the reflector. Shows good quality control, so that's nice. And you can even use it as a self-defense weapon, or work security or a police. All right, so now let's go ahead and take this all apart. I'm going to show you the springs and the inside as well as the battery. Take it apart here. Show you the spring first. Pretty heavy duty there. And here's the protection piece I was telling you you have to remove in order to operate the light. Take the battery out. See if we can take the barrel off and it doesn't come off but there is a spring down inside there as you can see and it pretty much matches the one here on the tail so now let's go ahead and take a look here this is a Phoenix 5000 milliamp it's a 21700 cell here's your charging port built right in the battery so take the battery out to charge it this will turn red when charging green when finished and this battery here will provide plenty of power and adds a lot of value to your flashlight because you're ready to go right after you charge it and sometimes if you get them brand new literally a brand new model these batteries are almost fully charged where you can almost use it for an extended amount of time right out of the box so that's another plus all right so we're going to go ahead and put this all back together there is well greased threads as you can see there, spring is pretty tough in there. So it should provide a good contact for this light, which it needs. All right, now that we've got this all put together, so now let's go ahead and go through the UI. You're going to activate the light by turning on the tail clicky here. Turn that on, see your battery level right offhand. A few seconds there before you proceed. So you're turning on the light and turning it off via the tail clicky. So now we're going to go through those lights outputs here. By clicking on the side switch you just go through those light outputs. Now if you do press and hold you'll get the strobe and that is a variable speed on that strobe. So it is real distracting. 
Now if you press and hold again, nothing happens, so you have to click it one time. It will go back to the regular UI, and you're back to going through those light Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and take a look here at the beam profile. Now you see how sharp that cutoff is? Here's my hand in the dark here, and then voila. It appears out of nowhere. Really nice sharp cutoff on the spill area. Really nice focused hot spot here. Does have a little bit of bleeding here around the edges. Just a little bit though. So this is definitely going to have some incredible range on it. And it's going to be able to shoot that way out there. And that's all there is to it. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go over how you can set this up for more of a tactical light output there. Now you can turn it off and turn it on and use it as a pressure switch. Isn't that neat? So you've got that range, blinding power, 1500 lumens, superly focused like this. It just blinds me right off my hand, literally. So really a powerful light here. Even with it on the highest output, it's not getting too bad, but it's been cold here where I live, so that is all there is to the UI. Really simple on the UI, of course, Phoenix lights are not too difficult, uh, at least the ones that I've tested. They've been pretty straightforward, and uh, that makes them that much more better, especially for anybody buys it, they'll be able to use it. All right, so now that I've shown you the UI, everything about the LED and the reflector, gone over everything with the battery, now let's go ahead, before we take it outside, let's go ahead and show you these pop-on reflectors. Now, I really like the way Phoenix went with these, and I'll show you why. I've got quite a few lights that have these, but most of them, you have to actually take the bezel off here, unscrew it, then you're going to screw this one on in its place. So you're leaving your ring around, possibly getting lost. But Phoenix went with a great idea. Actually, it's rubber around these lenses, and they just simply pop in. It's going to match this groove here, like that. And you're going to pop this in here. Once you get it all even, it goes right in. Once you got enough fingers on there. You make sure that that's in the area of the groove of the bezel there. Once that's in there, nice and tight, goes on there, looks good, and it's not going to come off. So now I'll show you the red LED. So I've got it on turbo, the highest output. And that is really intense. So same beam pattern, of course, with that, but only now it's in red. Isn't that great? I really like this idea. Easily pops right off. So I'm just going to grab it. Just like that. And now I'll put on the green one here. Put the green one on. They do have a little hole here on them so you can tie them together. So if you want one hanging down from the light while you're using one or the other, you can do that. I'll match this up with the groove here, like I'm doing there, and you're going to squeeze that one on. This one went on a little bit easier, and you're going to make sure that that's got some good pressure on it. And then once you're locked in there, it's not coming out. And now we're with the green. Now we're going to go ahead and turn it on. And that's the green. So now we're going to go ahead and turn this back up to the highest output. Look at how intense that is. <laughs> and that's what that looks like. So nice to see that these are easy to put on and take off. Turn this back down. So let's wait no further. Let's take these and the flashlight outside, see how it does in the wilderness. We are out here in the darkness with the Phoenix HT18 
So let's go ahead and get started. See how it does. See the light comes on there. Let me know. Got good battery power. And we got 35 feet to that water spout from where I'm standing. Got incredible range, making it across the park there. As you can see, those playgrounds, as well as over there. 65 feet to that tree, easily making that. Remember, this is a dedicated thrower spill. It's really nice, as you can see on, on the fence. The grass is dark, so it's not as prominent there, but you can see there on the fence. Big chest here on the lowest light output and beyond the tree of life. Look at that. 138 feet to that tree. Almost like a laser beam. Alright. And not quite to those palm trees yet. Really clear night, cold out here. So we're going to go to the next level here on the tree of life. See how it does. There's the next level. See the spill come alive. Really nice sharp cut off. A little misty out here. Had a lot of rain. You can see easily making those trees across the way. It's impressive. Making it across the park there. That's the playground there. And there's a playground over there by that tree. Tree line. Fence line. You can see there. Spill has really come alive. So now we're going to pan around over here. Now that tree behind this tree of life is 238 feet. Easily making that now. You can see there, usually making it to the school, and it is making that first palm tree, so that's good. Not quite the second one, that's quite a bit of ways across the street from there. Now we're going to go to the next level here, see how it does. Spills come alive, see there, my breath, pretty cold out here. Look at that. I'm going to check the palm tree now. Look at that. Making the first one. And it is making the one behind it. So. <laughs> making that school with these. Look at the spill area. That is just incredible. Especially for as small as this light is. Making those trees way out there, lighting those up before and after, see there. Now I post all my distances in my group on Facebook, so if you need to see them, they're there. That way I don't forget, and it's always there to refresh my memory as well as you being able to find them out and seeing the proper distances. There's the playground. <laughs> That's night and day. Look at that. Now the other playgrounds over there. Kind of see the slide and everything. Right there. That's tree line. Fence line. Look at that. All the way down. And that's quite a ways down to the end of the fence line down there. To the sidewalk a long ways and we'll just go ahead and do the next level here see how it does look at that <laughs> look at the sharp cut off on that incredible look at the fence line tree line making those houses cross the street from the park Look at that. Try to take this slow. My night shots are in 4K. So 
try to bring that to you the best I can. Look at making those trees way across the other side of the park. See there? Look at that tree light up. Incredible. Tree of Life, of course. World famous. School. Check the palm tree. There's the first palm tree with these. And there's the second tree away to the side of it. Now it's across the street from the park or from the school. Before and after here. Close up that is. Incredible. That's some good throwing distance. Everything at the end of that beam is lit up. <laughs> Look at that tree there. Anything in the path of it. Playground. All right. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. Phenomenal performance. This has some really nice range. Really solid beam performance. Huge spill area. Very usable. Uh, even the hot spot is very defined for great distances there. I'm not seeing any issues with performance on this was really surprising uh, especially it's been nice and clear out since it's been raining so maybe that helped with the distance but in any case this thing has phenomenal run times with this included battery here and also these being easy to pop on and take off now they do take a little bit more to take off but once you pop it they pop off very easily you can attach them really easy that's another big plus uh, especially if you're a hunter, red light and green lights are some of the better color temperatures that they that are needed out there. Uh, they don't scare the animals off as well as uh, able to see them a little better. If you have night vision glasses on or goggles, that's what's going to help you see with this. Nice to see Phoenix included everything in this package that you'll need right out of the box to get started after you charge it, of course. Now I'm going to show you here before we end it here the holster now some of these holsters I've tested for Phoenix have been kind of not that great but this one actually does pretty good kind of wish they went with the bigger flap maybe a curvature flap to cover this head so if you're carrying it along with a bunch of your other stuff it's not going to rub up against the light uh, and scratch it and uh, you know if you're like me I don't like scratch it on my lights um, that's what that looks there fits really good it's nice and snug you know everything is very nice on this holster in my opinion the holster uh, belt loop here is really nice double stitched material um, wish they would do this with all their lights as far as the quality is concerned with that belt loop is you don't want to drop a hundred dollar light because it came undone from a little thin piece that was holding it onto your side so no need to upgrade on this holster in my opinion it does have the areas here that are exposed outward get dust down in there so if you have another you know option where you can get another holster that covers the head a little better then by all means you can do that too so that's what that looks like there you know really a solid build quality on this as well looks great i have no complaints of this light at all very rarely do I see any complaints on Phoenix. They do really well with their products and they also stand by them with uh, very nice, generous warranties. Now I wanna thank the Phoenix store for sending me this 
to review. Now, if this is something you are interested in getting, I'll leave a link down in the description area to the Phoenix store, and I'll also leave a discount code there where you can save some money on this as well. Well, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these Phoenix little compact throwers to you in the future. Thanks for watching. Take care.